Greetings and welcome to another brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the community show that sees a pepperoni pizza in their near future. Mmm, pepperoni. You know what, I might actually order a pepperoni pizza after the show is done. I am quite hungry, so why not? Let, 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 let's just do it. Uh, anyway, this is completely irrelevant, so let's just get started with the show, shall we? <laughs> We didn't include this in last week's episode because we had a load of other topics we rather wanted to include, but it's still interesting and somewhat relevant this week as the new year has still just started. Apparently, Mike Shapiro, the voice of the G-Men and Barney in the Half-Life universe, has a presence on Twitter. And not only that, but he also made a video that he posted on said Twitter where he reprises his role as a G-Man to send us all off into the next year. Should old acquaintances be forgot? Well, after so much time, some things can prove difficult to remember. See you in the new year and do prepare for consequences hmm? Hmm. i'm not sure if i have to be creeped out because it's the g-man or if i should shout in amazement because it's the g-man Either way, it's quite nice to actually hear his original voice in 2020. We haven't had new G-Man lines for so long, it's nice to have this. Now, if you want to like, retweet, or just see the video for yourself, I've left a link to the tweet in the description. Black Mesa Azure Sheep The Black Mesa mod that aims to remake the classic mod called Azure Sheep in the Source Engine has released a brand new media update to start their 2020 off with a bang. In this media update, they announced that they're working on two main things right now. Number one is improving and expanding on part one, and number two is developing the maps and resources for part two. Apart from that, the post also shows off a buttload of screenshots of new improvements to maps in development. Many of these improvements are thanks to Sivo, the mapper you might know from the Black Mesa mod called Democulus. These maps look pretty amazing and sometimes like they're straight from Crowbar Collective themselves. The post ends on thanking people for donating to their fundraiser. It's going to really help them get the project some better footing and hopefully it will bring more content and quality to the table going forward. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see where this mod is gonna go and when part 2 is going to be finished. To stay in touch on the development of the mod, I suggest you follow their page on ModDB, which alongside the link to this media post is linked in the description. Still thirsty to play Half-Life in VR and soak yourself with headcrab blood? Well, be thirsty no more, because a mod for Half-Life 1 called Half-Life 1 VR will give you that exact ability. Minus the head prep blood, of course. You may need to take care of that part yourself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this mod is not to be confused with the other Half-Life 1 VR mod on the market called Lambda 1 VR. Lambda 1 VR is only available for the Oculus Quest, while Half-Life 1 VR will be available for any VR-capable headset. Some footage of this is already available from a YouTube channel called Smokey's Video Hole. I recommend you go give it a watch. It's pretty cool. As for the VR mod itself, it's now available as a beta to be downloaded. A link for that is in the description below. It's also worth mentioning that this mod has been co-developed by a Sven co-op team member called Max Volmer, so it has some pedigree. Go download it now. The peeps over at Map Labs are back with a whole new challenge. And this time, it's a bit different and more involved than other Map Labs challenges, because it features a grid this time. A very majestic looking grid. The deal here is that you have to draw a horizontal, a vertical, or a diagonal line over the grid to choose the objective, set piece, setting, and bonus challenges for your map. The bonus challenges are obviously optional, but the rest will determine what your map is gonna be like. So choose wisely. The challenge already started on the 2nd of January and it lasts until the 1st of February. So you still have time to participate and make a semi-decent map. The winners of this challenge will be granted a premium prize. A custom-made info player start trophy. You know, this guy. It's the mapping entity that divines where the player is going to start in a level. 
pretty obvious, right? Anyway, if you want to read up on the rules and other tidbits about this challenge, I left a link to the tweet containing the poster in the description below. May the best mapper amongst you win. So, a lot of stuff happened for Guard Duty and Operation Black Mesa in 2019, and sometimes it could be overwhelming to look at all of those media updates to get yourself up to date on everything that has happened during this year of development. Well, luckily a staff member of Tripmine Studios who goes by Evil Good Guy has created a video that collected all of the media and updates that has been released in 2019, and he goes over all of it. He even mentions that certain things like the bloom and models were in prove due to fan feedback. Now, if you want to get up to date on everything from Tripmine Studios in 2019, I highly recommend you go ahead and watch that video. Or you could watch all All Things Lambda episodes uploaded in 2019 to figure out which ones include Tripmine Studios news items. Nah, just kidding. That would be a buttload of work. Just go watch this video. It's a link down below in the description. Metrocop.net, a website that hosted a whole lot of Half-Life comics that shut down in 2018, is coming back. The site's creator, Mythos, announced that on their Twitter page. In this 16 tweets long thread, they went over everything that has happened to the site throughout its lifetime. From its inception, to collecting over 600 Half-Life comics from all over the world, to its eventual demise in 2018 because of stress. The thread eventually ends with an announcement that the site is going to be back in 2020, being completely rebuilt from scratch. The current site is still online for you to check it out, but it will be replaced by the rebuild website later on this year. So gear up and get ready for all the comics that are going to be released on there. If you want to read more on this, the Twitter thread is linked in the description below. Ooh, it's that time again. The time to sit behind your screen, pop open a can of Brain's private reserve, and enjoy the next installment of Freeman's Mind 2. In this episode, Gordon has to make his way through the base in Water Hazard to get that massive darn door open. The rest will probably speak for itself. Go watch Freeman's Mind 2 episode 12 on YouTube right now. A link for it is in the description below. Man, how cool would it be to have Ross Scott voice an episode of all things Lambda? Now that is a goal right there. You know what else would be a goal right now? Getting you to follow us on social media. That's right. However, that's not really uh, a very, very hard goal to achieve because we post Half-Life content almost every day. Why wouldn't you follow us? Everything, including our Discord server, is linked down below in the description. Follow me on Twitter too, it's at Farloomy, and I tweet pretty interesting stuff sometimes. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel too, it's Glorious Rigby, and that new video is still incoming, so subscribe right now to not miss it. And with that, I'm going to end episode 75 of All Things Lambda. I'll be seeing you guys next week, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon to never miss another episode. Salutations, and take care. Wait a minute. This isn't pepperoni.